Hey guys, how y'all doing? Welcome to Blessings for You, Sarah. It's your girl, Rika the Empress, and yes, I'm back in the building. Today, this will be the next 72 for Aries. Let's see what's going on with my Aries folks, my Rams. Very spontaneous, very hardworking, very determined. Can be a bit on the stubborn side, but hey, we're going to see what's going on with my Aries today. All right, your overall energy is the Two of Swords. Um, confusion. Uh... Being at a stalemate about a decision. If you do make decisions, it's, it's going to be out of confusion. You're going to make, instead of having time to think about it. Um, Let's see what's going on. And it's crossed by, oh, wow. It's crossed by the two of wands. So you're confused and you're not quite sure which, which decision you should make, which direction you should go in in a situation with love. Let's see what's going on. Because you're really stuck on something. Aries, I definitely see that you're stuck on something. You really feel like you're stuck in a situation. Oh, yeah. You're really stuck on some type of long-term commitment that you had in a relationship. Definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay. But I see that you're trying to find some clarity in the situation. And make a major decision, absolutely. I see what's going on. You got the judgment card. You got the Queen of Swords and you got the Judgment. Your Page of Pentacles right now, that's just one of the things that you got going on with you in your situation. You were crowned by the Eight of Swords. Uh, that was, at the bottom is the Ten, so definitely you're stuck on some type of situation. And I feel like you're trying to find some clarity to make a major decision with this Judgment card. I see that you got the Page of Pentacles, so it's some type of opportunity that has been presented itself. Or some type of opportunity that will present itself. Um, I see that you're really, really, really working hard on things. I see that you're really working hard. Okay, your feels, your your strength and your feels is the two of, the two of pentacles. Um, juggling, juggling most priorities, trying to get the feel of things, trying to trying to get the situation of things. Overall, you got the eight of wands, so something is coming in quickly for you. You got some fast-paced women coming your way. That's the overall energy. But um, I feel like you're gonna have to weigh your options about things with that with the um two of pentacles. I feel like you're definitely gonna have to weigh your options. That's gonna be your strength. Your strength is that you're gonna have to weigh your options about the decision. Because overall it's coming quickly. So you're gonna have to weigh your options. All right, Spirit, can we clar clarify the two of swords, please? Five of pentacles. So you're confused about a situation should you see. It's like, uh, should you leave it alone? Should you keep going? Feeling abandoned? Feeling left out in the cold? So, it could be a situation you're confused because you probably feel abandoned or you're abandoned somebody. All right, what is this two of wands about, Spirit? All right. Something that was very emotionally supportive. Uh, friendship. Togetherness. Companionship. Love and support. Celebrations. Yeah, I see what's going on. So, I feel like you're confused because you were left out of the cold in the situation. And now you have a choice or a direction you should move towards. And I feel like you're trying to figure out which 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 direction is the most supportive for you. All right. Can we get some clarification for the Queen of Swords? Yeah, you're seeing something. You're being clear about exactly what makes you happy. What's the judgment card? The King of Wands. That's you, Leo. I mean, I said Leo. Oh, you could be messing with a Leo. That's you, Aries, coming out. You're moving forth passionately. You're very inspired to do something. You're inspired to make this decision. With brand new hope, inspiration and guidance, you're going to go ahead and do what you have to do in this situation. All righty. Let us clarify the eight of swords. Okay. You're stuck on a situation that you're really, really hanging on to. With the nine of wands, you're really holding on tightly. What's this ten of pentacles about, sir? This is ten of pentacles. Okay. This ten of pentacles is, is the direction you should take. It seems like that's the direction you want to say. Somebody that you look like is your Ten of Pentacles. What is the Ten of Cups? Oh, sorry. The Ten of Cups, this was clarified. The Queen of Swords. 
All right. What is this page of pentacles? This is page. Okay, you got two cups, ace of cups, two of cups. So you're going to be issued, you're going to be given a brand new opportunity with this page of pentacles. It's going to be a new opportunity of love and it's going to be emotional fulfillment with this ace of cups and this two of cups. You're being presented. What is this ace of pentacles? So I think it's either you being presented or somebody going to present this to you. Yeah, and I see right now this is you. You're going to work hard on a situation where you're open, overthinking and feel like you're stuck. And you're going to open up your heart with this page of cups energy. You could be expressing yourself. You could literally be opening up your heart to new things. What is this? Two of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. Okay. Yeah, you win your options. But I feel like um, a, with a little bit of self-sabotage. You understand? I feel like that's the self-sabotage with the Seven of Swords. What you juggling and handling multiple priorities is like you're sabotaging yourself or the situation. By the way that you're handling it. You're handling it in a, a deceptive manner, in a in a way that's that a pessimistic. You get what I'm saying? That's what's going on. All right, what is this Eight of Wands? What is this Eight of Wands, Spirit? Okay, nine of pentacles. Stability. Fulfill me. Okay. Wow. Wow, ten of pentacles came out again. So you're going to be very stable within some type of long-term commitment. And you're going to have a lot of stability in this situation. So you're going to have your independence in this long-term commitment. It's going to bring you very happy. Yeah, so that's what's going on. All right. Let's see what else. With my messages of love, Oracle Deck. This is for Aries spirit. Coming out as the king of the wands. Aries. Aries. Leap of faith is safe for you to take, make this move you're considering. Yeah. Uh, it, it's safe. Just do it. Just take a leap of faith. You never know where you're going to go at Aries. It's a decision that you're going to have to make. Stability. This, this relationship can stand the test of time, Aries. Acceptance. Everything happened for a reason. Obsession. Yeah. It's that eight of swords energy. You got to accept that everything happens for a reason. Like it's, like, it's about to come in where you don't even understand why this person is doing this. And you're so stuck on that. That you can't see that this is your brand new opportunity. Because you're so stuck on what was. Let it go. Past life love. Yeah, from your past. This is self-care. Clear your energy field. Awakening forgiveness. Yes. This is going to be a situation where this person has went through an awakening. And they want some. And, they, and guess what? You're going to have to forgive them. You understand me? With all this energy. Self-care, past love relationships, past life. Look, you got this. Take a leap of faith, stability, accept this obsession. You're overthinking this situation. Just go with the flow. Aries, you got this. All right, all right, all right. Where is my moon cards? Right here beside me. We're going to see what spirit has to say for you, what God has to say for you. We're going to close this out. With these oracle cards, I'm on knowledge oracle cards. All right, spirit. I need three cards for Aries, please. Believe in the impossible. Stay optimistic. Believe what you feel like is impossible, it can happen. Blue moon. Trust me, I know about the blue moon. The blue moon also signifies transformation. A huge change. A time for healing. Take this time while you're going through what you're going through before this person comes in your life to heal and to grow. Communication is the key. This person is coming back in. When I see that new moon in Gemini, this is brand new communication. Emotions are running high, yes. And and I feel like when this comes in, Aries, it's going to have your mind going crazy. You ain't going to know whether you're coming or going. This could be for Aries or somebody in a relationship with an Aries or possibly about to be. 
it's time to take action. New moon to Aries. Aries, you came out. You came out in your own reading. It's going to be time for you to take action in the situation. Are you ready? Let's get it. Thank you guys for tuning in. So blessings for you, Tara. I appreciate your like, your shares, your support. I appreciate, appreciate you subscribing. If you're interested in a personal reading, please book me on my Facebook or my Instagram page, which is in the description box below, as well as you can actually email me too. Um, I appreciate all the donations as well. Thank you so much, guys, for your support.